heard him screaming, oh, a may it's only one road. One man army, Judah, baby, what's the mojo? I'm telling him, if I sign y'all, you know what I'm I want him to come with me. I'm saying that the whole time. And then another thing he kept saying, it was, I can't remember ex exactly what it was about. Special light button, special light button, special light button. They want you. They gonna have to pay me. I forgot what exactly what amount he said. He just said between 100K or 500K. They gonna have to pay me for this song. He got the same thing after he kept saying labels called me. So I'm like, he on some other So he's saying I use CMG lawyers. My lawyer is not a CMG lawyer. He was trying to get me to use his lawyer though. He was like, use my lawyer, use my lawyer. No, I'm not using your lawyer, you man, because I'm not using your lawyer. I, I used another lawyer, and he not CMG lawyer. He wrote that bar. He just said, say it again at the end. That's, that's his problem. He want everything I do. Yeah. He want to make it like he created me, and that's not what it is. He keep, like I said, you could have gave that beat to anybody. Nobody was going to make Evan Hill but me. I was the only person that was going to make Evan Hill. So stop acting like you discovered me. I gave, he could credit on more, but okay, he a, He's a great producer. He just do. And I was getting mad. Like I swear to God, I cried. So come like you. You talked about how people deals, and you trying to do me the same way. Not like we thought we was cool before all this. And now you like this money, and you turn on me like you not trying to give me no percentage of the song. They lying on here like they trying to do fifty fifty, and they not. So it was crazy. Like that's I never bought. Smash that goddamn like button for y'all get your ass monkey snatches. What's the Mojo Media with your boy with my army judo? And we going to fuck up, man. Now, miss, I'm M R E for nigga free. That be she got red metal for nigga cheat. Now, she's sounding off on the producer Hit Kid, the guy who was responsible for making the FNF beat. Now, they've been going back and forth over the last two days, man. And I think it's going to be some legal matters in this situation. Y'all heard her speak on it. You know, I'm going to definitely let Hit Kid drop his audio and let him speak on his side of the fence. And we'll be back with, you know, some thoughts on, on, on how y'all feel about it, man. I mean, I will say this seems like there's going to be something real uh, stretched out and going for quite some time. So, without further Further ado, y'all go ahead fast. Y'all motherfuckers see bells. We're gonna drop that audio, man. Smash them goddamn like buttons. This was the Mojo Media with your boy, man, RB Judah. we going to fuck up. Yeah, no, go break it down. Uh, just to address the the zero dollar situation, I want to sign. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. I started a label. I was trying to start a label. And then I, since I was working with the girls, I was like, hey, I will present this opportunity. Y'all can sign to me. I can't get out no money because I ain't got no money. So. That was it as far as like me trying to sign them for zero dollars. Not something. I don't really care that she signed. That was the point. Uh, going over about the fifty thousand dollars. I could have went about it a, a better way. I had signed the song over to Black Noise probably like two days, maybe the the day before we left to Miami and we went we went to LA. So I I did a distribution deal over the song well, over the project. Because F and F, she did the song for me for an album that I was working on, on some separate stuff. Smash them like buttons, smash them like buttons, smash them like buttons. This was the most media. Album together, me and the girls, in which we already agreed, all the girls agreed. So I was like, you know what? Since Goat is on the song, I might well take this song and put it with the project to do the whole album together. Because it makes sense, because, you know, it was, it was moving pretty, it was moving pretty well. But at the time, I feel like I had needed some more power behind it, so that's why I did. I went ahead and did the distribution deal, and it was a fifty thousand dollar advance, half for a front, half after it finished. But the person who get the advance is the person who owned the masters, which was me. Of the project, so I was gonna give, I was gonna break the twenty five thousand up amongst the girls after the uh, album was finished, cause. You know, I was just breaking bread. I was just going to break bread, and I was going to keep the other 25. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's what's the Mojo Media. As far as, like, the this song go, but, like, just the, the track record of, like, being in L.A. So when we first dropped the song, everybody had been calling. Obviously, the people that wanted to do a distribution deal, they, um, you know, they called. Then we went to, we went to Miami, met with a label. They were talking about some BS. But at this time, just, like, my first time, really, meeting with all these labels and you know what i'm saying like i'm at the same time i know some stuff but i don't know everything so some of the things that was said in the means were kind of going over my head and i had my manager i think 
I like I say, it's just two sides to every story, and I feel a little bit what he's saying, but I also feel a little bit what she's saying. She had her manager, her manager was in there, but this nigga don't know nothing, so he's sitting there nodding his head like he understand, but I ain't really saying too much because I didn't want to say too much, and I get myself, you know, trapped in what I said, but it, I'm going to tell y'all later, like, I eventually still did that, so we get to L.A., because we were trying to shoot the Sweetie uh, remix video, we get to L.A., and by this time, everybody was calling me, trying to redesign Glow, but they were, they were talking about the girls, too, and they were talking about me as an individual, and they were talking about us all together. So me knowing, having a little more knowledge than everybody else, not saying I knew everything, I knew what exact, I knew exactly what I need to know going into these meetings. I'm taking the girls into the meetings. I'm, you know, I'm we going, we going together. We going to the meetings together. It was, it was more meetings was for me and Glow. So we going in the meetings together, and um, we talking. And I know people was trying to really sign her, most likely for the song and not for her as an artist. And um, as I'm in the meeting, I'm just soaking up the game, and I'm also telling them about what I already know. Well, I'm speaking on behalf of what I already know at the time. So, like I said, some of this stuff is going on in my head in the meetings, and I'm thinking I'm just like helping her, helping her, helping her out, building these relationships with these people in the meetings. But I was like, look, we go going to meetings. You ain't got to sign no paperwork. I ain't going to make you sign no paperwork or nothing like that. But every time we had like some meetings, or I feel like it might have been a misunderstanding between me and her, I would go to her room and be like, hey, look, I messed up about this. Because I'm, I'm, I'm learning as I'm going into the meeting. I'm like, hey, look, I messed up. Her, uh, her manager was in the room, too. Or I called her manager in her room, and we'll sit there and talk about it. Um, I'm like, hey, look, I messed up saying this. I really shouldn't have said this because I just I learned. Like, because they taking what I'm saying and turning to some whole other industry mess. And I'm like, bro, I ain't really feeling this. And I could tell she she thought I was trying to, like, uh, backdoor her. But I explained that I had did a distribution deal for the album, which is which FNF is on. And the album was with all the girls. So it was sad. If I was her, I'm like, yeah, this this sounded sketchy. But I was trying to word it to it didn't sound it, it wasn't it wasn't sketchy, but I was trying to word it to make sure she understood and that her manager understood. But I was like, bro, we gotta be on the same page. Cause at first when we went out to LA, we went out on the same page. So people were taking that and using you know, they, that's when they were starting to divide and conquer. They were trying to bring me into me and like have me away from everybody and then they'll do the same thing with Mark. They had taken me to other rooms and had these meetings and trying to pull these little stunts and make plays out the song. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. But while I, in the midst of all that, I got everybody flying in, trying to help out. And, uh, you know, we trying to shoot the video. I got the hairstyles and makeup artists, et cetera, all that going on. I'm trying not to lose my thought pattern because it was, it was it's a lot of stuff going on. But uh, throughout the course of the week, it, we were just having a lot of meetings and I was messing up having so many memes. I was taking the girls into the memes, but I wasn't taking them for them to sign. I'm like, hey, look, this is something you might be interested in. We all taking these, this all new to us. I've been in like just a little, a few memes, but at the same time, it's it's all new to us. So taking it to the memes, learning new stuff in the memes. I mean, that's pretty much, that was it, but Every night I would go into go hotel room. We're like, hey, look, this is going on. They go try to take the song if you sign to somebody. But we put to shoot the video for the uh, the Ever Never remix, and uh, you know, got a head call. I want to say this so bad because he make his plain his day and so simple, and people don't hear it so simple minded and just. But I don't even my label means with me. I'm like, me and he get a good duo, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, I'm telling him, if I sign to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I want him to come with me. I'm saying that the whole time. And then another thing he kept saying, it was, I can't remember ex exactly what it was about, but he ended up saying, if they want you, they're going to have to pay me. 
We're going to go and cut a show right there, man. Hey, as y'all can hear the back and forth between these two, I don't know what to think, man. I don't know if, you know what I'm saying, he got some rights to this shit. Because at the end of the day, he do sound like he got some points and he got some rights legally to this shit. But at the same time, you know, she signed a deal and she in the 360 and she done signed that shit over to, goddammit, you know, uh, the label that signed her as. You got to think, when CMG signed her as, they took her in and owned everything that she was a part of. So, I mean, y'all drop y'all thoughts, like, share, comment, subscribe. It was the Mojo Media with y'all boy.